so y'all can really get the get the vibe, okay? Like I'm about to get in full twerk position. BRB sis. Well, I see. I see what's going on here. This is so cricket. <clears throat> Hey good people, it is Tashira from Politics and Fashion here with my birthday video. It really is a what I am wearing this week in Santa Fe, New Mexico for my birthday trip. I'm so excited to be here. I've actually never really explored the Southwest before. We got here last night and let me tell you, Santa Fe is already a vibe. The weather is interesting, but it's definitely a vibe. So with that said, this week you're gonna see me wearing some layers. I probably need to go out and get a coat, honestly, because I only brought a jacket. But nevertheless, I will try to fill you all in on what we're doing, doing during the day. However, it's not a full vlog. It is what I wear this week, okay? Uh, but make sure you are following me over on social media at Politics and Fashion because if you aren't, then you probably missed the day-to-day -day stories about what I got up to. My birthday is tomorrow, April 4th, 4-4. Yes, 80s baby, stand up. I'll be 41 years old and I feel so blessed to be able to have this platform to share just these celebratory moments with you all. But let's get into what I am wearing. Today is a Monday and I am wearing this dress from Rent the runway i will also make sure you all have vertical footage so you can see head to toe the look um the back is amazing because it drops i'm wearing underneath a pair of high contour boy shorts by understands you all know i work with them often this video is not sponsored but i wholeheartedly believe in the brand so use code to shower 15 if you too just you know want to just shape the curves, okay? <laughs> the earrings are from Anthropology. I have linked these before for you all. And what I'm actually really excited about you all is that I feel like I finally found the perfect nude lip. I've been struggling with this for a while, okay? So today, I have mixed this Kira Weiss lipstick. The color is called Sincere. I've had this forever and barely ever wear it, y'all. I line my lips first with MAC Chestnut. Y'all know it's a triple OG brown liner. And then on top, I am wearing the Fenty Cream Gloss in the color Fenty Glow. It's the Gloss Balm Cream. I really wanted the color Riri, but I'm not patient enough to find it. So when I found this at Sephora and it replaced another gloss that I hadn't ran out of, I felt like it was the perfect shade of nude that I had been looking for. I'm gonna put a little bit more on so y'all can really get the, get the vibe, okay? We're headed to a glass blowing class. Never done that before, but it feels very like typical Santa Fe. So it's part of my birthday gift. Uh, and uh, we are going to go and make a creation and then go back and pick it up a few days later. This may be a little dressy for that part of the day, but it's comfortable. So I figured I can move around easily. And then we'll be walking up and down Canyon Road for the rest of the day, just visiting shops and art galleries, etc. And so uh, aside from the dress, I'm also wearing my Tom Ford Sunnies because I feel like these are a vibe indoor and outdoor. The weather right now is probably about 45 or so, but it's gonna get up to 62. And so I'm gonna throw on top the Bottega Moto Jacket. I have on my feet the Zara Cowboy Boots. And if it really does like drop because we're out all day, I probably will put this Hermes scarf around my neck. By the way, I got this scarf for my birthday last year. So it was kind of serendipitous that I brought it on this trip. And that is a Monday's OOTD. Hey good people. Let me see if I can lift you up so that I'm not doing like this every time. Like I'm about to get in full twerk position. BRB sis. All right friends, today was quite eventful. Glass blowing was an entire vibe. Highly recommend tens across the board. Even though you all are not coming along with everything that we do on this trip, I will definitely link what I did each day and the places I went, places I ate, all of that. 
if they are places that I would recommend in the glass blowing shop, I definitely would. Um, there are about four or five artists that share the workshop and we took a class with one of the artists and she was so lovely, the glass and the flame and the thing and I was scared, it was hot as hell. I was like, oh Lord Jesus, <laughs> took all my jewelry off. <laughs> Can't handle the melting in the, but we made it out alive and I can't wait to show y'all my pieces, but they have to stay there and like bake overnight. Nevertheless, was out and about a bit as well. Um, tried on some new cowboy boots, tried on some hats. Um, just enjoying Santa Fe. The art galleries are amazing. Still much more exploring to do, but we are headed out for after dinner drinks. And so let me share with you what I'm wearing because I did change my outfit. I'm wearing the M.M. LaFleur set. The top is um, faux leather. I love this little piece in the back. And then the pants are boot cut. The best part about these, y'all, is that if you are a petite person, they actually have snaps on the inside to close them. Still wearing my Zara boots. I took off my makeup because I just did my birthday photo shoot and I had cake smashed into my face. So just put a lip on. It is the same gloss from earlier today, the Fendi Glass Bomb or Gloss Bomb with the chestnut liner. Um, no foundation, no lashes. Put my Tom Ford sunnies back on just to kind of camouflage the bare face a bit. Also changed my earrings. So in my first hole now are my Idol or Adil diamond studs. Same ear party as usual, but this is also a cuff by a deal. So let me show y'all that as well. And that is the look. The bag that I'm carrying for most of the week is going to be my puzzle, just because I just can't be bothered with a whole bunch of bags, especially if it's just a low key trip. So it's neutral, it works. Oh my bad, the tank is by H&M. Just good quality basics, I think. Um, this necklace is by Nature the Label, and then this is by Dior, of course. And that is this evening's OOTD. I'll see y'all tomorrow on April 4th. <laughs> it's my birthday. Whew. All right, let me put this down. I'll be right back. All right, so it is my birthday today. I turned 41 years old, April 4, 4482, as I have mentioned to you all already, Aries stand up, okay? It is indeed Aries season, and today we went to the spa, Ojo Caliente. It was absolutely breathtaking. Words do not do that spa justice, and we had a private soaking room and we enjoyed the natural hot springs on the property, I could spend all day there. I could spend days there. And they actually do have rooms. So I'm already planning my next trip to Santa Fe. If you have not been, it's in my opinion, if you like just wellness kind of retreats and resorts, it's worth coming out here just to go there and they have two locations. So FYI, right? So didn't share with you all what I was wearing earlier today. It was just some sweats to head out. Uh, but for this evening, we are headed to a restaurant called Geronimo. It has rave reviews. I'm excited to go out to dinner. And then we will do drinks out at Tonic. Unfortunately, a cold snap has come through. So I've had to kind of add a little bit of accommodations to my outfit. I'm still gonna be cold, it is what it is. You only turn 41 in Santa Fe once, all right? So the earrings you all have already seen are by Anthropology. I am wearing this jumpsuit. The brand is called The Gauge, y'all, but I got it on uh, Rent the Runway. If I can find it, I will link it because the material is so amazing. It's like wearing one big Spanx or a piece of shapewear. And it's super stylish at the same time. So I love this detail around the neck. You also have these just completely unnecessary and extra straps here, which I think really do a great job of lining that clavicle area. The back is open. The cakes are caking. Love it. Um, and as you can see, it is also wide leg. And so 
I'm gonna do all black tonight and whenever I do that, I always add texture. So on my feet are the Fur Mules by YSL. I told you all in the video recently that these are on my top 10 items that I would have to replace if God forbid something happened to my entire luxury collection because I love these shoes. They are no longer available in black, but they do make them now in brown and maybe one or two other colors. So I'm so happy to see them coming back. And because it's cold outside, I am gonna throw on my favorite H&M long blazer. This is super affordable. I always kind of cinch the arms up on this like that. Okay. And I thought about, I mean, it's my birthday. So, you know, I just picked up this cowboy hat um, at a spot called Santa Fe, Santa Fe Vintage. Shout out to them. It is owned by a stylist and the shop is by appointment only. It is an archive of fashion. Top notch, if you are a vintage girl, even if you are not, go there because it gives museum quality, okay? And so I'm like, you know, this is a little, especially if the jacket was off, or we did a little cape thing. Let me show y'all this hat girl and usually i wouldn't go for a western hat i would just sorry y'all i died so i feel like especially caping it it works plus it's nice to have you know some coverage on my head as a bald headed scallywag um and that is the birthday o o t d i am just grateful for all of the experiences i've had this week in 2023 this year is starting out with a bang um, we prayed up, we blessed up, it's up and it's stuck, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Today is Wednesday. We're back with another installment of what I am wearing this week while I'm in Santa Fe. Yesterday was my birthday. We had a time last night. I uh, had dinner at Geronimo, drinks at Tonic, which I may have mentioned to you all. Both will be linked down below. Geronimo is a super fancy, like Michelin rated restaurant. We thought the cocktails were amazing. Dinner was good as well. I would recommend the Chilean shrimp dish. Um, and it had like a corn cake in between each layer and the shrimp were humongous. I, I just can't go on enough. I had the uh, Chilean sea bass in ramen and it was okay. I felt like it needed a little bit more of a burst of flavor, uh, but we also really, really enjoyed the desserts. So Geronimo, put it on your list if you're ever in Santa Fe. And Tonic was just a cute vibe last night. Santa Fe closes early, y'all. Very, very early. Uh, one of the locals was telling us that the average age of Santa Feans, <laughs> if that is a term, um, pre-COVID was definitely like AARP and up. Um, and then 25,000 people moved in because it's a great place to live uh, during COVID and it kind of changed the demographics of the area. But with that said, it still closes at 9 p.m. Everything in and around the plaza. And so uh, Tonic is the only place that stays open past nine. It stays open until midnight, fun fact. And because I was up late to last night doing all the things, enjoying a few beverages, libations, uh, today's a little bit of a slow motion, okay? <laughs> Very casual day about to head out do some shopping some more exploring and so I wanted to be comfortable also once again a cold snap has come through it's definitely really warm in the sun but too cool to wear the pieces that I thought I was going to wear in the way that I was going to wear them so today's outfit is a bit improvised but so be it first let me say that I am wearing just very simply a tinted sunscreen on my face it is Nothing to really write home about, no beat whatsoever. I have a little bit of um, mascara on my lashes. By the way, the sunscreen is by um, Tower 28. My lip, which I wanted to show, share with you all last night, is a combo. It is Dragon Girl by NARS, and then I kind of give it an ombre effect by lightening it up in the middle with the MAC Fashion Legacy. You all have seen this graphic tee, a whole bunch is from Pacific Sun. Um, and I am wearing a suit, a linen suit, but it's like a thicker linen suit um, by H&M that I'm really impressed with you all. I saw this just randomly in the store, stocked it online. I think I had to get the jacket online and the pants in store. The pants are a size eight, a little bit big in the waist, but they fit well throughout the hips. The jacket, 
is fully lined and double breasted. I mean, these are just the things that H&M gets right, okay? And I'm wearing it with the tee because I know my favorite thing to do is just to make it a little bit more casual. Definitely giving Miami Vice, but that's okay. Okay, and then on my feet, I am wearing my Jordans. These are, I think I already shared with you all, the new pair that I got, well, my cousin got them for me. Um, and I saved these specifically for spring. They are purple and yellow. So quite a few colors going on, but I love the look. And then, I'm just gonna put on the Tom Ford's once again. The oversized sunnies are just the way to go, especially when I feel like my makeup is pretty muted for the day. May or may not put on a scarf and a hat. We'll see if that happens. Follow me over on IG. Make sure you had a chance to see all of the looks. Let me just say though, this is the hat I showed y'all last night. Let's see what it's given. Oh shit. Wait a minute. might be a vibe though I can do so much with so little the way that God has blessed me like just the favor that has descended upon me to be able to pull a look together he is a way maker I'm telling you a ram in a bush look at this girl and I'm slightly hung over and this is how I'm about to step out today I'm mad at myself all right let me get my bag and we are headed out I will see y'all tomorrow Today is Thursday and we are headed out of the city of Santa Fe. We're actually going to go to Taos and then we're gonna come down and go to Chamayo just to have a chance to visit other parts of the area, especially ones that are very much infused with indigenous culture and traditions. And so it is another very cool day in Santa Fe. It does not warm up until we leave as luck would have it. So I decided to just kind of throw on a mixed match of what is in my suitcase that is somewhat warm and can provide a few layers. So let's start from the top because these are new earrings that I grabbed from one of the boutiques here in Santa Fe. Obviously silver and indigenous jewelry is really, really big here. And I absolutely loved these silver earrings. I don't mind mixing metal, so I kept all of the gold everywhere else, y'all, including in my necklace and bust down wrist, but those are new in, and I don't wear studs a lot, so I love those. Uh, Sunnies are the same ones by Tom Ford. I'll probably be wearing these all week, y'all. I am wearing an Hermes scarf, Nature the Label um, necklace, same jewelry, Bottega Moto. The turtleneck is by Ula Johnson, and what I love about it is that it's actually like a viscose material. Jeans are by Mango with huge rips in the knee, wearing the Zara flame boots, but wearing the jeans outside of the flame. Wrist is the same that I've talked to you about already this week. Ring from Morocco. Yermin on this hand, may not have said that this week. And I think that is it, y'all. I'm gonna carry actually My book tote, I mean, I hate to kind of, I already have so much going on here, so I hate to introduce another pattern, but it's just gonna be helpful as far as carrying things for the day that we may pick up. Also, I need to pack some snacks in here because I'm at a big age and my blood sugar be, it be dropping a little low. Uh, so let me grab my snacks and get out of here. I will tell you how the day was when I check in tomorrow. Welcome to Friday, our last full day in Santa Fe. Uh, we had a wonderful time yesterday. We stopped in Chimayo, I think I told you all that, and we headed up further north to Taos. We took what's called the high road from Santa Fe to Taos, which means that we actually were driving through the mountains, through like the snow peaks. It was just breathtakingly gorgeous. I am going to have to, at the very least, write a blog post just about everything that I would recommend in Santa Fe so I don't forget because I do plan to come back. Um, in Chamayo, I got a really cool vest, which you all probably saw on social media. They do a particular type of weaving. And we went to a place called Ortega's that has existed for eight generations. It takes four people to make one vest. 
mind blowing. And then at Taos is actually the Pueblo people. Um, and so we were able to visit a Native American reservation. It just was breathtakingly beautiful. The weather was amazing. Uh, they welcome you into their homes. And so we had fry bread, which is a, a, a native dish. We got to see all of the pottery. They showed us the fool's gold that they use on their type of pottery. And, um, you know, just share a lot of the history about how when the Europeans came, they actually thought that that was real gold. And so what I love about just learning more about who they are is that they don't tell you a whole lot intentionally because you know colonizers like to colonize. And so they are sure to keep a lot of their traditions down to even how they bury their people close to their hearts. They do not share it with outsiders whatsoever. And I was like, you're goddamn right. Okay, because can't you see Karen trying to do a native ritual at her house in the backyard? In Ohio, have to preserve things. Um, and I am wearing today because we just went out to run a few errands a uh, Loewe uh, sweater, Gypsy by Nature chain, which you all have already seen. I am wearing the same pants from the suit that you all saw me wear, I think on Wednesday from H&M. I wear the same things on vacation all the time, you all. It's just an easy way to pack light okay uh on the wrists you already know bust down bust down bust down free maiden and cartier i probably because it is still really cool throw on it's a long h&m blazer and i just really like the look my sunglasses are the fendi ones on my feet are the puffy H&M slides, and it's just like a, you know, real easy, not quite as Miami Vice as the whole white suit, but you know, it's giving you kind of business up top. It's New York up top and Miami on the bottom is what I'm thinking. So we are gonna head to Meow Wolf, and after that we are headed to the spa. I wanna do a quick photo shoot, so I may come back and show you my look. If not, I will see you tomorrow when we're headed to the airport. So as I mentioned, I just shot really quickly. I got this rat and boa dress, just having vacation and resorts and just yacht life in mind, okay? And rat and boa was having a sell at that time. So I wanted to show it to you all. This is not for the conservative girls. It's not, okay? So you're gonna show skin, you're gonna show nip, you're gonna show maybe a little under boob, okay? It is pretty much transparent, but what I have done is I put on a pair of high-rise understance bike shorts, and what I love about it is I'm almost six feet tall, so it's gonna be very, very long, y'all. Um, but I like the fact that it almost has a, not a tail, what's the thing called? A train. <laughs> A train, which I think just adds to the drama, okay? So I'm probably gonna wear this a couple weekends uh, from now for my birthday celebration back in DC, but I wanted to shoot it here because I had a whole desert photo shoot in mind. Uh, so I think when I wear it then, I'll probably do a pair of either strap-up sandals or my Saint Laurent fur mules. I'm not sure. Um, but either way, I put the anthropology earrings back on and the same jewelry that you all have already seen. That's it for today, y'all. I will see you tomorrow to show you my airport OOTD. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm here with a mimosa because we can't leave any alcohol behind. No alcohol shall be left behind in this vlog. All right, we are getting ready to head to the airport because the vacation is over. Um, it's a really good idea, though, to... Um, Head back home on Saturday, because then you still have like Sunday to recover and to lament the fact that you were back in the ghetto, which is your real life and not vacation. I think Janelle Monet said it best when she was like, if we ain't talking about vacation, then what are we talking about? You see what I'm saying? Like, I want my life to be vacation, okay? So this is probably going to wrap up um, the first bit of travel that I have this year. We'll be back outside. We'll be back outside for sure, though, because may I got some things coming up that I might take y'all with me on. But for sure, this summer, we heading back out of the country. So y'all stay tuned. Today's airport outfit is very, very low-key, y'all. I typically like to give the girls a look at the airport. Because I feel like, why not? <laughs> you can bless them with your presence. Um, also, I'm just old school and feel like, you know, I'd be one to put on when I travel. 
Uh, but I have a layover in Houston for about two hours, and so I want to be comfortable. So I am wearing this sweatshirt. I got from a local boutique, but I cannot remember the name. If I can find it, I'll link it down below because it is super soft. It is made in LA, so we love that, okay? Um, I'm wearing the Lululemon Align leggings. These are the super high-waisted ones, y'all. I have two pair of these just because they're so good. Um, and I blame Margot for this because I was a staunch anti-Lululemon person. I was a Lululemon hater for sure. And then she was like, no, Shy, just try them on. Girl, I went to try these leggings on and I was like, okay. Well, I see. I see what's going on here. Um, and they're super comfortable. So I have on my J's, of course, the same Fendi Sunnies you've seen all week. Just to kind of not look so pedestrian. I also have my jewelry on. So the Dior choker is there, same bust down wrist. And what I'm probably going to do is put on my blazer. And I say that y'all because I flew here with my leather moto and it's just so like restricting and uncomfortable. But the H&M blazer, boom. And then it almost like looks intentional, right? It looks like it's just, you know, model off-duty, fly girl type of look. Now, I'm going to have to wear this hat on the plane because... <laughs> because uh, otherwise, wearing my Dior book tote, and that is going to be the look for the airport. Thank you all so much for riding with me. I feel like y'all are so crooked. Hold on. Hopefully that's better. Uh, thank you all so much for riding with me in this vlog. I am sad to leave. I'm sad to leave and I've been looking for a vacation spot that I want to come back to, like a vacation spot that I would go to annually. And I think Santa Fe might be, it might be the vibe. Check the description box. There's going to be a blog post down there with everything that I did. Also, check it because you're going to find all of the links to everything that I wore. Otherwise, y'all, thank you for tuning in and make sure you're following me over on social media at Politics and Fashion. You're listening to my podcast, Justice, and I will see you good people cross the internet. Peace.